Welcome back to the Caspa Silver YouTube channel. Today's video is entitled Narratives Are Changing, The Caspa Stacking Continues. And the reason why I labeled that is because the narratives are changing. If we're looking in the macro environment, you can see that there are different players that are changing their tune about cryptocurrency. You can see that these big players are no longer having a stance that used to be against crypto, but instead favoring crypto. And now cryptocurrency is becoming a voting issue, a voting topic in the US. And recently we even had Donald Trump here talk about his favoritism of self custody. And I just want to play this clip for you guys right here. I will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. I will also I will now if you know Trump's history in the past when he used to talk about cryptocurrency he used to think that uh, Bitcoin is like a threat to the US dollar so he doesn't like it thinks it's a scam and now he's changing his tune now whether or not it's because he's genuine about it or really because he's just campaigning and you know he he realizes that there's more people who are in favor of crypto that would probably vote towards his side this is why he's saying this now. But nonetheless, I mean, if he's saying this, he's going to most likely want to keep this promise. Now, we don't know what's going to happen with the election. I mean, we literally just after I'm recording this, I just heard that, you know, he was uh, convicted uh, and I have no idea what the future holds for the U.S. in this election. It's going to be a, a big one for sure. But nonetheless, the tune on cryptocurrency is changing i mean we can even go over here and watch this clip of michael saylor talk about cryptocurrency and changing his opinion on crypto let's take a listen so here's what i think i think i think two weeks before the world looked like bitcoin was going to be the only asset securitized and and offered as a spot etf by the wall street establishment and it was going to spread as the one legitimate crypto asset I think right now, the best expectation is the crypto asset class will be legitimized because I think that we are politically much more powerful, supported by the entire crypto industry. Crypto is an asset class. There's an entire range of use cases, right? They obviously have a lot of political power, a lot of users. You just kind of have to rethink all of your models Instead of someone saying, well, there's one crypto asset, maybe I'll allocate 1% of my money to it, I think mainstream investors might say, oh, there's a crypto asset class now, and maybe we'll allocate 5% or 10% of the crypto asset class, but Bitcoin will be 60% or 70% of that. Now, Michael Saylor is a big Bitcoiner, and he's admitting to the fact that it appears that crypto itself is going to become an asset class and mainstream uh, institutional investors are going to be considering to invest into alternatives other than just only Bitcoin. And this is just really important for the future of Caspa because if you know anything about me in this channel, you know, I obviously only talk about Caspa on here and I am not in favor of like 99% of cryptocurrencies. I only personally hold Bitcoin and Caspa because I just believe that cryptocurrency uh, currently doesn't really solve mo uh, any other problems than one that it still has not solved and that is becoming an actual currency in the world an alternative type of currency but to do that it just takes a long time you know it's not going to happen overnight but caspa in my opinion has the best shot at becoming a type of actual money digital money that is secure decentralized and scalable all on the base layer without any layer two assistance and this is very so important. here's what i think and i really do like over here what plan k over here says he says money is a technology technology evolves over time if you want to stay ahead the only solution is to adopt the latest technology and adapt i'm so happy to see this mentality from the maxis because it makes me so much more confident in the success 
of Casper. And ultimately, this is like the biggest uh, hurdle that Casper has to get through is proving itself as an alternative asset to Bitcoin, especially to a lot of maxis, because Bitcoin maxis are extremely close minded uh, to anything else. And I don't blame them. Uh, nothing like Casper has existed in the last 15 years. There's many people that will try to say like, oh, yeah, Casper is just another altcoin that just, you know, came out of the blue and it's it's trying to be a better Bitcoin. You know, that's happened so many times. But you know, if you don't do the deep dive, you, you just don't get it. And, you know, I, I have tons of videos backing what I'm talking about right here, where you can do the deep dive and, and really just understand that, like what Casper is bringing to the table is truly different to what was brought to the table for the past 15 years in the proof of work world. And, you know, to think that Bitcoin is the only thing we have, I think is just horrible for the crypto space as a whole, because it's just like, Bitcoin, yes, it, you know, the goal is to try to become money and this, this and that. But at the at the core, it, it's technology and technology always gets better it, it never just stagnates and, and remains the same. It usually always gets better and improves. And Casper is worth of 10 years of research and has improved the technology Bitcoin has originally brought into the space, bringing a block dag instead of a blockchain and this is just never seen before in crypto history what cast was bringing to the table this is the first time that's like proof of work is being innovated for the last 15 years pretty much with casper here and so this is why personally i only hold casper and bitcoin and like cast was literally like 99 percent of that holding i mean I have a very small allocation to Bitcoin. I still buy both. I still think Bitcoin is a worthy contender to be better than gold, a better store of value. And I just personally believe that, yeah, the number will probably go up in the longer term. But in the longer, longer term, I believe there's some hurdles that Bitcoin will face. And those hurdles that Bitcoin will face will be a problem. And that I think it will be able to showcase why caspa is necessary and it'll allow caspa to shine when those hurdles do possibly come in the future so this is why i personally am stacking caspa i'm continuously stacking caspa i dollar cost average every single week i really don't care too much about where the price is and i'm gonna say like what michael saylor always says you're gonna see me just continuously buying the top forever as long as the fundamentals continue to appear as they do so i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and as always don't be average be different